<laughs> Holy crap, I've never liked a pair of headphones more than I like the brand new Apple AirPods Pro 2. And today I'm gonna go through all of the major reasons why I think if you are looking for a brand new set of noise canceling world blockers, these are the blockers for you. So let's go right into the price and feature set of the AirPods Pro 2. If this is your first time even knowing there was an AirPods Pro, the revengening. The Pros 2 can be had for $249 brand new from Apple. But speaking of price, surprisingly enough, you can already get them for $10 off on Amazon right now. It's crazy how quickly those discounts come in. For that money, you'll get the two AirPods, a wireless charging case, six hours of listening life per pod, and up to 30 hours of life when you consider the charge included in the case itself. Now I get it, $249 for a set of headphones is a lot of money. That is a ton of money when you can go out and get a wired pair of headphones for like $5 or even a wireless set from a competitor for like 30 bucks. But that's the whole point of this video is to show that while expensive, I cannot argue that these are not expensive, but I do think these are worth the money even if you aren't an audio engineer or an audiophile, because I certainly am neither of those two things. So you know how I've evaluated these headphones. I've pretty much worn them nonstop since they've come out. I've gone on seven runs so far. I've been in five major meetings, and I've used these as my primary Discord voice comms as I took a week to grind through to level 80 on my Holy Paladin with my guildmates in World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Whew, that was a lot to say, but boiled down, these have gotten a ton of use. If I had to say anything negative about the headphones, it would really only boil down to the price, but even that's stretching in my opinion. Right now, there are AirPods Gen 1 or Gen 3 that you could get if you wanted to save some money, and you could even get an older set of the Gen 1 AirPods Pros if the $249 was too steep, but you still wanted noise cancellation. I do kind of wish the case had moved over to USB-C and you know, the iPhone 2 is while we're making a wish list. Apple tech is in this weird place right now where the mobile devices are mostly on lightning because not even all the iPads are anymore. And the bigger devices are on USB-C. Heck, the Apple Watch has its own little charger. So if you're gonna carry all this stuff around, you gotta carry around too many cables to charge everything. Yes, one of the cool things about the AirPods Pro 2 is you can wirelessly charge them, but that seems like a lot of work to get around just putting a USB-C port here on the bottom. Enough about that really weird complaint. Let's move over directly into the first reason to buy. Do these headphones sound good? Like, shockingly good. And I guess you'd hope they'd be able to clear that hurdle because that's like the whole thing a set of headphones needs to do, right? Personally, I don't have the technical vocabulary to explain the ohms or the impedance values of the sound waves coming out of these, but suffice to say from regular old person Gary here, these sound good. And I think they sound far better than the AirPods Gen 3 that were released not too long ago, and they sound much better than even my beloved AirPods Pro Gen 1. There's a clear quality to the audio here, and the bass is no kidding like having a set of over-the-ear headphones on. Sure, yes, I get it. There are benefits, and over-the-ear headphones will be superior in a lot of audio-sounding ways. But that these buds compete for me? I think that's pretty darn impressive. Something else that's almost a little too darn impressive about the sound quality is the noise cancellation. This isn't the best noise cancellation that I've ever seen in a set of headphones. I'd probably have to give that to my AirPods Max or my Sony WH series headphones. But those again are over the ear headphones. These have excellent noise cancellation for such a small pair of headphones. One of the past things I've had to do in the past week when I'm talking about using these for running is I've had to turn the noise cancellation off when I'm out on the streets because it's so good. It cuts off all the noise that I attribute to cars. Like all of that ambient noise that I use to kind of detect when danger is around, this kind of cuts that off. And it's, it is important to know where cars are when you're running. Don't nobody want to get hit by somebody playing on their phone instead of paying attention to driving. I think it's really good noise cancellation and these will absolutely be replacing my Sony's as my go-to air travel headphones because all I'm really looking for is enough dampening to cancel out that airplane drone. I mean, that wears me out after a flight. I think if I can get that in my tiny portable AirPods, that's worth the price of admission by itself. Next up in the reason to buy, these might be the most comfortable set of headphones that I've ever worn. And I know that AirPods are a mixed bag as far as fit goes for folks. Some people have ears that just will not work with AirPods. And if that's you, there isn't too much you can do to fix it. There are different ear cups that come with the AirPods. So hopefully there is more of a range of people that these will work for, but some people, they just won't work for you, unfortunately. For me, the AirPods Pro 1 were super comfortable and I never had an issue with them falling out or being uncomfortable. And the AirPods Pro Gen 2 
keeps that tradition alive. Let's kind of move towards the meetings and talk about video game discords that I've been in, and I think these might also be the best gaming headphones in the market. Well, they are the best gaming headphones if you do your gaming on a Mac computer. It is still kind of wonky getting them to work with other devices. Yes, you can do it and you will get good quality, but these are really at their best when you can use a MacBook, a Mac Mini, or a Mac Studio if you wanted to play your video games. And thankfully for me, World of Warcraft is optimized for those M1 Macs, and I've been using my M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 for my way too long gaming sessions over the past week. If you see bags under my eyes, it's only because I'm running on like two hours of sleep. When it comes to gaming or meeting, what's nice is the noise cancellation combined with the microphone quality. That makes these one of the best ways to communicate with your team. And I'm not only using these by themselves, I've tried a ton of different quote unquote standard gaming headsets over the past few months, and I cannot stand any of them. They all squeeze my head enough that after a few hours of gameplay, either my ears hurt from the strain or I get a wicked headache from that. Like, I cannot have headphones. I even wear my hats super light because I don't like having my head squeezed. The AirPods absolutely knock that concern out of the way because they don't go over your ears and they don't squeeze your head. These have given me many hours of gaming bliss. I find that they're good for about a four-ish hours of battery life per charge, which was kind of annoying for me at first until I had to take a step back and realize that I was playing way too much if four hours was a deal breaker. I'm almost 40. I can't be playing games for that long of a time anymore. Moving over to the next reason to buy, that's spatial audio. If you haven't had a chance to use this, it sounds like a gimmick. Like, okay, sure, the headphones make it sound like you are in a surround sound environment, but seriously, it's amazing, and it's a really neat technical trick. Even though it's been out for a while, I hadn't personally used it too much before, but on a recent family vacation, I was watching a movie on my laptop, and I thought the way that the audio was coming, it sounded like it was coming directly from the laptop. I thought I'd forgotten to turn my headphones on, but it was the technical sorcery from the AirPods. As you move your head, the sound pattern changes to match the location of your computer or your phone now. I believe iPhones also have spatial audio capabilities. It moves to the sound source. It's like naturally listening to something, except that you can have noise cancellation and better sound audio, and you don't have to be like right up to it to hear it at a decent level. It's a better video watching experience than if you tried to do it without the headphones. That was a really confusing way to say, and really the only way to explain how cool spatial audio is, is you have to try it yourself. And next, while I haven't had the AirPods Pro Gen 2 all that long, I wouldn't be too worried about their longevity. My first pair of AirPods Pro Gen 1 lasted me almost two years of six days a week running. I don't know any other pair of headphones that would be able to handle two years of constantly being sweated on and treated as poorly as I treated mine. I have seen a few things on the internet expressing concern over the durability of AirPods in general, and I've literally had no issue. I just throw them in bags, I drop them all the time, I beat them up, and they lasted almost two years. It's wild to me that these tiny headphones can deal with the corrosiveness of sweat as much as they have. I'm sure I should have carefully wiped them down after every run to make sure they last as long as possible, but I generally just take the headphones out of my ear, set them on my table to dry, and then eventually they get plugged back in for charging. Another cool thing that's not necessarily a reason to buy the Pros, but it is really awesome, there are some physical updates to the case itself. It does seem like every AirPod generation, Apple adds a few new quality of life features. For this model, you'll get a lanyard loop on the side, which is pretty neat. Maybe not a whole reason to buy it, despite my joke tweet that was taken seriously by a tech publication. Be careful uh, what deadpan tweets you make. Also, you get a speaker built into the case. Yes, the headphones have a speaker built into the case. This won't play your music for you, but what it will do is give you some notifications about pairing status or low battery life. I have a feeling that someday we're just gonna get a straight up display on the AirPods, but doesn't that like morph it into, I don't know, an Apple watch that you don't need to wear? Kinda like an iPhone? What? What's crazy to me is after a rather uninspiring year of releases, I'm really excited that I can fully and wholeheartedly recommend something from Apple. I think the AirPods Pro 2 are amazing headphones in a vacuum and might be the best workout and the best gaming headphones on the market today when you take them out of a vacuum. Sure, they are a little pricey, but you get a ton of functionality comfort, and darn good usability for that money, and it's not always a bad thing to spend a little extra to get better quality. And if you like this video, click here to watch my one week follow up on the brand new Apple Watch Ultra. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.